You guys are completely wrong about Gohan. A lot of the Dragon Ball community has the idea that Gohan as a character has regressed throughout the series. While I understand to a certain degree, it is somewhat flawed when you look at Gohan as a whole. The main critique given to Gohan is that he regressed in strength and his overall lack of willing to fight is somehow against his nature. I have an issue with that being lobbed at Gohan as there were clear telltale signs of him becoming this way. And to say that it's not right when it wasn't in the author's intention to make him a carbon copy of Goku is completely disingenuous. The first major reason why his regression was warranted is because of the situations presented to him at a young age. After witnessing the death of his father, he was kidnapped and trained by his killer Piccolo, with Piccolo giving him the harshest training imaginable so he can toughen up against the Saiyans. After the Saiyans arrived, Gohan watched all his friends get killed one by one, including Piccolo, who he ended up befriending in the end before he died. Afterwards, Gohan, Goku, and Krillin receive a big beatdown from Vegeta, leaving them in anguish and were hospitalized. He was just 5 years old at the time. Sometime later, Gohan travels to another planet to try to bring his friends back to life but now he and his crew had to deal with a tyrannical alien dictator along with his goons and try to fend them off while trying to protect the Namekians along the way. That failed for the most part. And then Vegeta comes back, initially an issue to Gohan and friends, but they teamed up against Frieza but were still getting rocked by him. Then Goku comes back, but doesn't start to actually beat up Frieza until he went Super Saiyan, a form he only achieved after witnessing his best friend die, Gohan witnessing it all. Then Gohan and the remaining people on planet Namek go to Earth, while Goku and Frieza duke it out until the planet explodes, leaving everyone to think Goku is dead. When they try bringing him back to life, it turns out he is alive, but doesn't want to come back for the moment. Gohan is still 5. The Android Saga is where a lot of people say that Gohan peaked as a character, and I I tend to agree. While I'm still on the notion that him backsliding in the boot arc was purposeful for his character, that doesn't mean that his most defining moments aren't cared within this arc. The main and obvious standout being his fight against Cell and his Super Saiyan 2 transformation. And now that I'm thinking about it, it was the only time Super Saiyan 2 was actually a cool transformation. What I liked about the fight against Cell is when Goku came to realize that his son isn't like him and that he has the potential to become the strongest, he just doesn't want to fight in general. He's not the same breed as Goku when it comes to why he fights. Goku protects people when he fights, sure, but he generally fights so that he can test his limits and become stronger. That's why Gohan expects Goku to generally save the day. Gohan, on the other hand, is obligated to become stronger so that he may be able to protect those he cares about. I personally like this for Gohan because this is where his priorities lie. So when he becomes angry after turning Super Saiyan 2 and starts wrecking Cell, he became lost in the sauce as was getting cocky against his opponent, which in turn props Cell to self-destruct, which would then lead to Goku having to sacrifice himself for the planet, his friends, and his son, who wanted no part in this. Gohan would get his second win back after Cell returns and saves the day after the Kamehameha clash between he and Cell. At 11 years old, he became the strongest fire in the world, being its sole protector. That would not last long. Gohan in the Buu arc is where people start to have their issues with his character, and I could totally see why. During the 7 year time skip, it has been peaceful, so there hasn't been any real need for Gohan to train as excessively as he has before. This is a problem for a lot of people, since it should be noted that Gohan is considered the strongest in the planet, and is unfortunately burdened in being the main protector. But let me play devil's advocate and say why I'm personally not upset by this. Again, it's within Gohan's character to do something like this. Gohan, at the end of the day, isn't a fire like Goku, meaning that he doesn't really enjoy doing so. He'd be be more so willing to in order to protect those he loves. The issue being that there hasn't been a primary threat for years, so there's no need for him to train. Now, I'm not going to excuse him for not training at all, but give him some credit as to why he initially didn't do so. Afterwards, we see him train with the Kais in order to achieve his mystic form, and then becoming the strongest non-fused character by the end of the series. He didn't beat Boo, but it was still a valiant effort in doing so, and should be given merit when dissecting his character as a whole. Now we're getting into the territory where I can somewhat agree with people as to why Gohan has become a fodder character. We're also getting into the territory where I tell you to hit the like button and subscribe for more Dragon Ball anime content. I'm primarily a Naruto channel, but we'll definitely delve into Dragon Ball from time to time, so be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. You won't regret it. I'll at least say this about Gohan in the beginning of Super, and that it wasn't that bad for his character regressing to the sidelines. It didn't seem that he was weak to the point to where he couldn't fend off against higher up characters. It's just that he had to tangle with a god level character in the Dragon Ball universe and got folded. That's perfectly understandable, especially when this part of the series is giving more spotlight for Goku to become a Super Saiyan god. That I'm not mad at. It's where we get to the next arc is when I'm having some problems with Gohan. After Frieza's return, Gohan is in the worst shape of his life, looking like he barely lifted a finger after his encounter with Beerus and stopped training as a whole. Now while I gave credence to the fact that Gohan doesn't really need to worry about training given that his father is around, I'm not excusing him here since he knows that there are god level threats in the universe so he needs to be well versed in training if he's ever going to step up to them. What really rubbed me the wrong way was when Frieza, in his first form, gut punched Gohan and was out for the count. 
Like, why? Gohan should not be so weak that first form Frieza is able to knock him out. It wasn't until the Universal Survival arc where Gohan was actually willing to train so that he can protect his family. But right afterwards, he goes back to doing nothing and ends up having to deal with big threats in the superhero movie. I'm just hoping that by the end of the movie story, Gohan is actually in the spirit to train, especially with Piccolo berating him for it throughout the film. And while Beast Gohan sounds cool on paper, it's kind of like that Super Saiyan Rage transformation that Future Trunks did in the Goku Black art. It fell out of nowhere and didn't seem it was actually earned. While I'm not totally mad at the form, since I don't personally know how it scales to godlike Dragon Ball characters, I don't want it to be a trend where all that needs to happen for Gohan is to see Piccolo die for the fifth time and get angry. That would not only ruin his character at this point, but just dumb down the plot of Dragon Ball in general as if it wasn't already. Overall though, I'm more hopeful than I was previously with Gohan's character in his weaker moments, especially when comparing it to the Super storyline overall. After the superhero movie really drove it home that he should be training more, I'd be excited to see that become a reality. Until we get to that point, I want to pass the question off to y'all. What do you think of Gohan's character as a whole? Do you think he regressed tremendously after certain points? What were some of Gohan's highlights that come to mind? I'd love to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, click the card you see here which will take you to my video on why I think Dragon Ball Super is not as good as you remember. I'm the Curly Held Okage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.